When you launch an explosive object from the gravity gun, it will always explode on whatever it hits, even if it touches it gently. In Half-Life 1, there are many things that can move along predefined paths. Some of these things can be controlled by Gordon. There's a famous instance where one of these objects isn't supposed to be controllable by Gordon, but is. There is also a less famous instance of this in Half-Life 2. There's a random guy walking around in this menu background. Dr. Freeman. He's not there in the actual map. In the Citadel, there are some pods that you're not supposed to be able to go on, but can. This horse statue at the end of Follow Freeman has a dick. It is a very low res dick and I'm not even sure if it's erect. Honestly, 1 out of 10. Zombines will drop their grenade if you shoot them in the arm. It's well known that you can shoot these barrels from any place to bring down this gate. There is a much more obscure and slightly different way to do it, which is to shoot the wood structure itself. The two bridge levels in Highway 17 are unique in that you can see most of them from each other. By doing certain things, you can actually reach the low detail versions of the levels.
There's a big invisible wall here, so you have to go around it. Minor fracture detected. Many weird effects can happen when you load directly into a level and then try to go to the level before that. Note that I already covered instances of this in the episodes in the episode The Episodes episode, so this will only include the ones from Half-Life 2. Basically the game will act as if you were never there, because technically you weren't. By going back to the start of Highway 17, it's possible to duplicate the buggy. The same thing happens with the airboat, but it's impossible to reach it. As I said in another fact video, you have to exit and re-enter the buggy before it begins working in this area. This effect applies the moment the map starts, and you can only get rid of it with the buggy that's on the dock.
Levels at the start of a chapter will put up invisible walls so that you can't go back. You can get past these barriers by loading the level after the starting one and then going back all the way through that. Here it's possible to get 7 rebels in the same place, but only 4 will follow you. Freeman, you're here. Dr. Freeman? 